Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. Mm -hmm. Now, this word couldn't be said if slipping was impossible. Mm -hmm. Slipping is possible. And slipping occurs when we forget the things that have been said. Brother Ricky's told us some things that he said some things, mm -hmm. and we want to give diligence that we don't forget them. We don't let them slip away. Mm -hmm. This is, um, Brother Ricky has referenced something that is actually key, pivotal in the kingdom of God. In other words, you can't have forgiveness without what he was talking about. Acceptance with God. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you're not accepted, mm -hmm. this, is, this is not something that you can forget and still be right with God. You can't, you're not going to forget that you were accepted. When that happens, then something else is already happening. You're already sliding back. You're chosen in Him. So it isn't the fact that you're so good. The fact is that He's so good. Yeah. See? Yeah. He's, yeah. he's the one. God has like an exchange program. Now, it is true that you had something. You have something to contribute to this. It was called sin. He had something to contribute to this, and it was righteousness. Mm -hmm. Now, see, he took your sin. It was really your sin. It really did belong to you, personally. But he took your sin, and he laid it on him who knew no sin. Mm -hmm. And he took his righteousness, which really was his righteousness. It really belonged to him. And he's imputed it to you. See, God's given you his righteousness, the righteousness of God. He can, because of this exchange, He can now present you faultless. Faultless. Now, before His presence, His glory. Now, if there anybody could find fault, it would be God, right? That's right. If, there was any, if a personality could see inside and find fault, God would see it. You can't hide anything from God. His eyes are too pure. They, they can try the reins of the heart. So... Christ can make you faultless and even in His presence. Amen. The presence of His glory. And He can do it with exceeding joy. This is what Christ wants to do. This is what He laid down His life that He might bring many sons to glory. He might say on that day, Here am I and the children which thou hast given me. Now the assurance of this acceptance is, see, this, this actually is the result of believing. You believe the record that God yeah. gave of His Son, yeah, and now you're going to have assurance, <coughs> confidence, that on that day, you're not going to be rejected. You're going to be accepted in the beloved. Now, see, this is, this is really the exhortation. This is, cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Because yeah, sure your confidence is in God, that He's done everything that you couldn't do. Yeah. The law, He gave us the law. Prove, we know we can't do it. I mean, it, Brother Ricky is really not trying to convince us as is trying to get our confidence in God that He's done the work. He has done all things very well. Amen. And now we believe that He is and that He will reward us because we have diligently sought Him out. Uh -huh. See, this is confidence. Confidence in God on that day. Well, Paul prayed, and this is um, my prayer of exhortation for the brethren. I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a marvelous thing that God's done. And um, He's given us to have the confidence in Him. See, now on that day He converts. Well done, well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Yeah, a few You've things. actually trusted in me. And now... I'll make you ruler over many things. Hmm. Enter into the joy of thy Lord. 